Okay, it's no lie that I'm mixing it up with Elemental and Bricks page builders when I'm working on WordPress websites. And a very common question in our live chats and coming to me privately are, well, what do you prefer? When would you use Bricks and when would you use Elemental? Are you completely ditching one over the other? I wanna really make clear that I am not ditching anyone, okay? I really like Elemental and I really like Bricks too. And I'm gonna use both of them as and when I want. Let me go over the benefits of what you get with Elemental. I mean, number one, it's been around for a good while now and it's got an amazing, fantastic community. Tons of tutorials, tons of support, loads and loads of things going on with it. And there is a great Facebook community as well. You can go in, tap into that and you will get help pretty, pretty quickly, as long as you're asking the right kind of question and etc. There is so much you can do with an Elementor website. You can use, Woo, you can build a WooCommerce website. You can do a blogging website, appointment website. There's tons of plugins. There's lots of add-ons. I don't really use many Elementor add-ons like ever at all because I like to keep things lean and mean. But if you want to use resources out there, you're spoiled for choice. Now, of course, be careful with how you build, right? If you care about your page speed performance. And I know a lot of people kind of go on about the bloating element. I and mean, yes, there is quite a bit of coding, but if you're very methodical, you can still hit a 95 plus score on the mobile and definitely on the desktop. To put it plain and simply, I'm still gonna be using Elemental for many, many clients. And our website is built in Elemental as well. What's important though, is that every website as a minimum will most likely have a theme. So hello you're gonna have the Elemental Free plugin. And I like to think you'll have the Elemental Pro as well. After that, you may need one or two optimization plugins, you know, just to help boost things up a bit. So in total, you'll have four plugins, roughly as a minimum, and one theme. Well, that's five resources gone there. Now with Bricks, it's still pretty new, it's still developing, okay, and I can see it getting better. It allows me to do practically everything I can do in Elementor, but it goes a stage further. But that being said, I would strongly recommend if you've never built a website before, starting with Elementor is a really good way to get things going. Because when you move over to Bricks, you might need to get dirty with a little bit of CSS coding. Some of the benefits of Bricks are how they have an inbuilt like WooCommerce product filter, which is really good nestable widgets, which reduces the need for me to create lots of templates as what I would probably do in Elementor if I was trying to do really bespoke testimonial carousels and stuff like that. So that's a big benefit from Bricks. It's a bit more efficient on that side of things, especially on the CSS class system where I can create styling for particular buttons and hover effects and all of that. Believe me, when you get your head around it, and we've got videos on that, it really is beautiful. There was a point in time when Bricks had the loop builder, which was brilliant in how it's built. Elemental have now brought out their version, and I can see that getting better once they enable it to work with WooCommerce as well. But both of them now have loop builders. So before Bricks had it, Elemental didn't, but now Elemental has got that since version 3.8. Now as a comparison to Elemental, like I said, you'd have Hello, and then possibly four plugins, definitely two and probably two more. By the way, I'm not talking about security plugins, duplicate page. I know you would need more for WooCommerce and appointments and other stuff like that. I'm just talking about the basics of a basic website. With Bricks, you could get away with just the theme. Bricks is not a plugin, it is a theme. Literally that, you don't need any other plugins. You might still need one or two optimization plugins. I think you could probably get away with one, but even then it's a theme and maybe one plugin for optimization versus theme and possibly four plugins going on there. I have built comparable websites or pages with Elemental and the same kind of page with Bricks and the difference in score is quite stark. However, that being said, I still like using Elementor, and if you do the right things with optimization, you can get the scores to be the same no matter what tool you're using. But if I was gonna build a very bespoke website in terms of like WooCommerce and stuff like that, I would be using Bricks, mainly because of the filter system they've got there and what I can do with the products and the shops with their loop builder. But if I wanted to build a basic website or if I wanted to get it done really, really quickly, I would definitely be using Elementor. Now, the final thing I wanna point out 
and not everyone will agree with me on this because everyone has their own way of working, is what if the website you're building is going to be handed over to the client? So you're not maintaining or looking after it. The client's going to have to get dirty with moving things around. In that scenario, Elemental wins hands down. I'm really sorry, but I've got to say that. So anyone out there who's a Bricks fan, please don't get annoyed at me. With Bricks, a bit more thinking is required. And I think a lot of people should hopefully appreciate that, you know, because there might be a bit of CSS coding. The style, the class system is very easy for a user to go and click on a button and start changing things. And they don't realize the class system is activated. It's on yellow. And then all of a sudden, glug, 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 everything changes everywhere, right? Elemental is a little bit more risk free from that aspect of things. As long as you don't use too many add-ons. Come on, I've got to say it, okay? If you use too many elemental add-ons, you're asking for a problem somewhere down the line. But if you're handing over fully, elemental, I think, is pretty easy. I mean, I could train someone up on how to update their website within half an hour on a video chat, and away they go, and they're happy. With bricks, it would take longer, and I would be a little bit worried about the risk attached to that. That being said, though, I think they are both my favorite page builders at the moment, and both of them have a place in our web agency and our lives. So to answer the question, no, I'm not ditching one. No, I'm not using one more than the other. I will be using both depending on what I'm being asked to do for the website. But I would strongly say to anyone out there who doesn't like what I've said or doesn't agree with it is go and play with it and make your own mind up, okay? We don't need to be living in a world where we hate and fight. We can all live with love and peace and harmony. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that